Hello, everybody out there in the world. This is the Gear Swap. This is week nine. And I forgot what the name of the title is. Jackbox right. edition. Episode nine, Jackbox <laughs> edition. I am going to get through one of these intros one day without totally screwing it up. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gear Swap. We have had a very uneventful week. Well, most that's, of us have. That's, that's not period. a lie. That's not a lie. That that's not a lie. So what we are going to be doing this week is we are going to be getting through this as quick as we can. Not because we don't want to be here, because we want to play games with you. We're playing Jackbox again tonight. So we Best are going to kick it off right away with talking to the hosts. Uh, someone pick a number between even or odd. Odd. Even. Christian, you're first. <laughs> All right, cool. Sweet. All right, so my week has been very, 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 very uneventful. So all I did was look up a bunch of PC parts on PC Part Picker throughout the whole week oh because when I when I get all my stuff, I want to be able to do it right the first time, and I just want to make sure that all the parts I get or the parts i really do want mm -hmm. but other than that i've been playing a bunch of call of duty i put up my new youtube video yesterday i just okay. got into dying light i just got into dying light if you know nice. what that game is Chris. uh i don't but that sounds fun it's a bunch of parkour and zombies oh <laughs> yeah i did hear about that game mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. All right. that was mainly my week how about you birdie what's going on uh, I started school again on Monday, like online school. So, you know, the shitty version of going to school. Yay. Uh, a bitch got a 94% on her math midterm. So, Ooh. holla. Yes. Celebrate. <laughs> Give her the X. That's great. Um, besides that, I've been doing nothing really. I reorganized my entire room so that it was better for online classes. So I could actually like study and do shit in here. Um, I got a PC because my fiance is the best and built one for me. Shout out this guy. <laughs> Actually, it'd be this guy. <laughs> yeah, um, he's on the Lord. Uh, and, Brats. Uh, besides Brats, that, basically. You shout out to Brats. <laughs> besides that, we cool in. We chill in. We're, we're, you know, keeping it real, kicking back, enjoying, I don't know, social distancing. <laughs> Much as we can. <laughs> right? All right. Um, my week is the same as every week, pretty much. I still am working. Um, our crew has been lucky enough to avoid getting sick, so we got that going on. Ooh, yeah. Um, I have been trying to stream a lot more off of the podcast, so if you guys ever uh, see me go live, uh, stop by. I definitely want to see people hanging out. I will almost always interact with the chat. Playing Dead by Daylight this afternoon, early evening with Birdie and my brother was in the chat and Fabian came by. We got raided by another streamer. We had 15 people drop in just randomly. So things are happening. Ooh. Um, speaking of the streaming, we're still aiming to get partner. I see we got eight people watching right now. Tell your friends, don't hide your kids. Don't hide your wife. Tell them to come out here and watch. <laughs> it's totally safe for social distancing. Yeah, if, exactly. If, if you want to wear, if you want to wear a mask while you're doing it, you can. Not a big deal. Just really be, get in there. I'll be safe. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I think that uh, with a little bit more work, we can uh, we can keep spreading this. So, uh, not spreading the ick. <laughs> not spreading the ick. No, no, not spread, 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 the ick. spread, spread this. <laughs> Spread this. Spread, We're yeah, spreading yeah. the podcast. Spread the podcast. <laughs> I'm triggered. Spread, spread the spread, spread the cast, not the ick. Mm -hmm. You, you had it. You had you have it. You have it. You have it. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Uh, today on the show, uh, we just did the intros. We're going to be doing uh, our overview of Juggernaut. Uh, still nothing going on at the fields. They're all still closed, I think, until at least the end of April. And um, we're going to get into the Jackbox games. We're going to start out with some trivia afterwards. So uh, once we finish the stream, 
I'm going to hit the uh, social media button right now. Bam, that Discord in there if you're not part of the Discord. Uh, go ahead and join us there. Uh, we'll jump in one of the voice channels and we will play Jackbox, Quiplash, and what's the name of the other one, Christian, that I, I don't know the name of? Wait, Trivia Murder, Murder Party? Yeah, Trivia Murder Party. My favorite! <laughs> yes, we're going to start with Murder Party today. Um, I don't have any more announcements. How about you guys? Nada. Ooh. Nothing. I remembered to start the recording this time. Ooh, yay. All right. Congratulations. Yes. All right. All right. Press we... no wins. <laughs> it is. We're going to we're going to try a different trans. Oh, I just cut transition to that. It's not what I wanted, but that works. Cool. <laughs> All right. We are talking about Juggernaut today. Um, Birdie. Give us the rules of Juggernaut the best you know them. Uh, They're on the screen if you want to cheat. I'm going to try and do it from memory because I feel like it's almost pathetic that I wouldn't remember this. So, Juggernaut is where one team has the Juggernaut, one team doesn't. Okay, there's attackers and there's defenders. I don't know if that's what they're technically called in the system, but that's what I'm going to call them right now. That's so, mm -hmm. the defenders have the Juggernaut on their team. The Juggernaut is one person on the team on the field uh, during the game who has more health than everybody else. What is it? Is it five? 500. Yep, you got it. 500. 500. All right, yay. It has 500 health. And so basically the entire point of the game is that if you are the attackers, you have to kill the juggernaut before the end of the game. So eliminate um, all of their health uh, in order to win. So again, like you, and you usually, you always like swap. So um, both teams should always have a chance to um, get the jug. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work out that way sometimes because of timing, but like generally it should, you should always have a chance to oh, have hey, the jug. Um, What's going on, little man? Hey. Uh, Oh, oh, there's a child in the room. <laughs> a fourth. <laughs> um, hey, we can play Warzone quads now. <laughs> yeah, we can. I just heard about that. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so that's like pretty much the gist of it. I don't know what I'm missing, but like that's the part that matters to me. <laughs> oh, the juggernaut have to stay upstairs at all times. That's important. Yep. To yeah, it's, yeah the go. juggernaut's restricted to some area, depending on what yes. you're in. Correct, yeah. correct. That's, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I can't think of any other... Any other rules? Uh, Chris, you got any other rules? I don't think there's any. Uh, no, she nailed it. Okay. Sweet. All right, so she went first for that. Christian, you're up first for your noob strategy. What are you telling the newbies every time you play? Noob strategy. So if... Uh, no, this applies to both sides. Don't stop heading upstairs. All the game, the whole game resides upstairs. That juggernaut is going to be upstairs so if you're downstairs trying to kill people you may rack up your kd which is a plus but you're not helping your team with the game at all if you're not trying to kill that juggernaut or defend that juggernaut upstairs mm -hmm. really? so just never lose sight of the upstairs yeah keep if your you're eye on not the prize. upstairs or on your way upstairs you're probably <laughs> yeah if you are not affecting the objective area in some tangible fashion to use big words, you done fucked up, B. That's yeah, that. again. It was me again. I know. I was like, you, you, you It's you me said every the time. That's all right. I was like, I was like, I don't think I've sworn once yet. All right, we're like Finish. PG thirteen. You're allowed one. You're allowed one each. You keep taking the one. It's like... Guys, gotta get on that quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. All right, my my noob strategy for this, very similar to what Christian said, is you always want to get upstairs or whatever the objective is, um, but you also want to spread out a lot. Um, if you clump up at the top of the stairs, it's suicide. Uh, I know uh -huh. if you're on Madison, if you if you get clumped up in the bottom of the clock tower, again, it's suicide there too. Um. Haven't played on Waukesha very much, but I know it's roughly the same idea. You got to get upstairs, so you can't be clumped up. You got to spread out. You got to flank. You got to do whatever you can to get upstairs. Um, yeah, it's just it's all upstairs. Birdie, I think you're gonna say the same thing, but it's your turn. I mean, I am, y'all. I I'm, I pretty much said it already. But if you're not upstairs or on your way upstairs, you're probably losing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that one's pretty easy. You just have to be doing what you need to do in order to win the oh, game. Oh, yeah. You know what I would tell somebody who's new though, is that I feel like sometimes new players get confused with the fact that like at the beginning of the match, like a bodyguard is assigned, mm. but like that person isn't always there. Like they die too. <laughs> so like, if that person isn't there and somebody isn't actively trying to like recover that spot, that pretty much screws you over as well. So like just because somebody gets named the bodyguard doesn't mean it's their sole objective alone to like handle that position. That's it. I really feel like that gets missed a lot. Cause like sometimes I'd be juggernaut with new people and like the bodyguard dies and then nobody else comes and I'm like, <laughs> where where is my team? <laughs> Like, you're in the world's worst adult film. They never show up. What's going on? Where are the people? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. That was good. All right. Advanced strategy. We'll go backwards this time. Bird, what's, uh, what, what, do, what do you and the regulars like to do? I'm, like, trying to think of something oh. besides go upstairs. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> like, I feel like Flanking is a big one for Juggernaut uh, with people who know what they're doing or, like, uh, side stairs and then, like, through the middle to upstairs. I mean, I like to do that just because, mm -hmm. like, depending on what side they're on. Like, if you know um, when you're attacking which side the Juggernaut is on or, like, if they're staying there, it can be helpful to, like, go up a side stairs and then go through the middle instead of just going up your back staircase and then, like, going all the way around. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of things that are like, like, out of like the obvious realm. <laughs> I feel like that's the biggest one for me. Again, like I feel like there's so much just like playing upstairs and like kind of like different strategy for like when you're upstairs, like what you should be doing, who you're with. Um, I'd say like honestly having like a, a cr like your whole team upstairs a lot of the times like isn't the answer just as much as like having nobody up there isn't the answer just because like just like downstairs in certain spots it can get really crowded if everybody's trying to do the same thing at the same time it's probably going to be less effective mm -hmm. like unless everybody knows exactly what they're doing so i would be cautious of like spacing when you're upstairs and like what you're actually trying to do aside from just like running around and finding who they are um but yeah i just say like organization and just like being actually aware of like where you're going who you're killing because i feel like it's really easy to just like run upstairs and start shooting at the first person you see and then they die and you're like oh they're not the jug shit and then you're dead right i like it Ooh, i'm next <laughs> uh my advanced strategy is to get to the back staircase which is the same on most for alcatraz uh, same thing with Shanty. Getting behind the attacking line or the supply line is really good. Um, uh -huh. Those are obvious, and I, I see people putting ideas in the chat too, so we'll get to those in a second. If you guys have feedback and comments, dump it in the chat. We will talk about it. Um, one of my plans that I really like to do, which is really cheesy in my opinion, and it's kind of... It's not that I don't like doing it because I enjoy killing people, but I really love standing um, to the flanks of the back staircase so and then shooting people as they hit the staircase. Um, so like if you're on Alcatraz coming, attacking the bus stop, you can get to the left and the right of the bus stop and you can kill people as they come out of spawn. So you're cutting off the reinforcements before they can even get upstairs. Um, uh -huh. So even if you don't have a really great team behind you, eventually they'll overwhelm just because of the sheer amount of bodies that are getting thrown at it. So if you can just interrupt them for like 10, 15 seconds, usually that's enough where you can get a, you can at least take out the people upstairs that are entrenched pretty well. Um, right. Shanty is difficult because there's a lot of spots to hide as the juggernaut. Mm -hmm. um, you pretty much have full reign over the entire upstairs if you play right. So you just kind of have to find the staircase that's not being defended and attack that. Mm -hmm. um, Madison's Field. It's, Jesus Christ, it's almost impossible to kill the Juggernaut on that field. You have to get pretty <laughs> lucky. 
um, because the juggernaut's tucked all the way in the back corner, it's it's really hard to get across the field because the officer quarter side is just very well defended. You have lots of ways to kill people from a flank where they don't see it to the mm-hmm. last second. Um, finding maybe a little fire squad of like two, three people is probably the way to go, though. Just kind of push mm. together, clear out a section, and then try to cut off the resupply and let the other players push the objective. Or if you're really mm-hmm. lucky, you just get behind their spawn and the juggernaut's just standing in the opening. You take them out in like two seconds. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Done that before. Feels good, man. Mm-hmm. All right, Christian, that's all I got. Your turn. I got to type that all up now. All right. So basically, I said this for domestic threat, and I will say it for this one too. It is going to be count your regulars, see who's on what side, and sometimes a regular will always make a new person the juggernaut just because they need the freelance to be able to kill and not have any consequence to the game. Mm-hmm. So if so, if you're attacking and you see that a regular is the juggernaut, I would say. They're, and depending on your regular, they might play offensively. Like, I've seen a couple of juggernauts that are, like, right next... The moment the game starts, they're already at my spawn, already shooting at us, and then they retreat five seconds after they're shooting us, just to throw us off. Uh, but a new person, you can probably tell where they're going to hide because a regular is going to tell them where to hide. They're going to say, just stay in the back in any guard tower. Just make sure you check the guard towers. And... When defending, I would always say pick uh, on Alcatraz. If you're if you are the Juggernaut, uh, try not to play offensively. Uh, this is something I like to do. I like to play offensively, so I'll probably move up to at most the shower or the bell room. Sorry, and then come all the way back. But if I'm not the Juggernaut and I'm the bodyguard or I'm still downstairs. The first thing I would still do is the stay in the back. It was e- it's either I would be in the back middle spot, or the moment I run up the stairs, I'm looking back down the stairs because I know some regulars love flanking. The moment the game starts, mm-hmm. so just keep an eye on your regulars and keep an eye on their play styles as you go, and okay. adjust to where yeah. they are or where they are not at, if you know what I mean. Shanty, yeah. I would say it is a shanty is kind of unpredictable because it's all like it's not a rectangle. The map's not a rectangle like Alcatraz is. It's a square, so like any corner is any. In my opinion, any corner is pretty valid if you're hiding as a juggernaut. Mm-hmm. But that's all I got. That's all I got about it. Just keep your regulars in check and see who they are. Learn that uh, once you learn their play styles, you'll learn how they play. Mm-hmm. Just adjust to how a regular plays. That's how I'm saying. Nice, like it. There was something that came in my head while we were talking about that, and I can't remember what it is right now. Um, yeah, can't remember. Oh, um, <laughs> let's go to the chat. See what the chat has to say. I'm gonna go back to where people started putting in, put in. Um, powers with his favorite strategy. I'm I'm assuming that the fish face was <laughs> tinnitus the main, <laughs> which is hilarious. So powers likes to rush straight up the middle. Thank you for the one bit powers. I will take your <laughs> one cent and I will put it in the donation pile. Thank you very much. Bit by powers. Yeah. So powers likes tinnitus the main, which is effectively just sprinting straight up the middle of the map at the beginning. Try to get to that back staircase. Mm-hmm. Um, fire, fire mandrill says, uh, da, 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 da. yes. Oh, a lot of people are saying that yes, ending up being as the lone defender is one of the worst feelings in the world. So, uh huh, mm-hmm. getting the teams to really focus on getting upstairs is kind of a big deal. Yeah. Uh, fire mandrill chimes in with, if you cut off the target from the juggernaut. Uh, you get good positions to finish him. Awesome. Love it. Hello, Steve. Welcome. Hey, Ben. Wow, Fire Mandrill's dropping tons of comments in here. Defenders cut off the opposing yeah. team's link. Oh, and keep the shooters down. Makes sense. So basically the same thing on both sides. You're just trying to cut off the resupply. 
either of defenders or attackers. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like people don't get to choose their jogs at their field. Ours is, is not similar, but also is sometimes. Um, it's random, oh, and sometimes right. it's not. It depends on who's running the session, but it's mm -hmm. not like mandatory for us for it to be random. Yes, correct. Um, I know Madison always. I think they always randomize their jug. They always do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about Milwaukee or uh, Waukesha. Nope, that's the same place. <laughs> Waukesha or Michigan. Madison? Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Oh. They said the jug is usually random for Michigan. Okay. I like really? it better when it's random. It's just hard to randomize it. I mean, for Jug, it's so much easier because I feel like whenever Jug happens, especially in, like, sessions where there's, like, two, like, regulars or, like, four, three, whatever, like, if there's, like, a small handful of regulars and then, like, everybody else is new, the regulars are always, like, I, I feel like our regulars recently have gotten a lot better at this, but, like, used to always be, like, I'll do it since I know how the game is played. Yeah. And, like, I feel like it makes it so much better when, like, new people can actually be involved and, like, get yeah. to be chosen. And it's not something that we, really, like, people have to be like, oh, they should go. Or, like, oh, choose from the new people. Because mm -hmm. I always feel like at our location, it's a lot of, like, look to the regulars to see what we're supposed to do. And I'm like, I don't want it to be my job. Just tell me where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to like being the juggernaut a lot. I almost always pass it over unless... Unless we're playing second mm -hmm. and the other team picked a regular and it was abusive. Oh, sure. Sure, 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 sure. And, and then it's only really to keep the Delta as close as possible. Uh-huh. Because um, there's one thing I hate more than playing Elimination and Judge Dread. It's having to lose time to gear swaps. Ah, name of the podcast. Uh -huh. All right, roll credits. We're done here. <laughs> All right, let's keep going down here. Don't get to choose. They don't rush out and get them killed. Killed. I've actually seen uh, when Phil was the manager at uh, Chicago, he was picked as juggernaut one time and just like stood over the ledge and immediately got killed. He wasn't even trying to. He thought he could just gun everybody down and we just lit him up. It was hilarious. Uh, I bet it was a fun time. <laughs> oh, it was great. <laughs> Never, always look up. Always uh -huh. look up. True. You don't know who's going to be just peeking over with their gun down. Yeah. So. All right. So that's pretty much it for the uh, the Twitch chat input. Um, field differences from what I know. I, I already went over a couple of them, but I know Madison, um, according to Steve, they randomize their juggernaut all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, they also f will switch sides. Um, so that the juggernaut is always on the side with the crate maze. And then mm -hmm. on their map, the jug has to stay inside the crate maze. Um, that's their restricted area. Okay. Um, makes it a pain in the butt to actually get to them. Yeah. Especially if there's more than like two or three regulars playing. This is true. Yeah. It, you can't, like one of the things is you can't cut off the reinforcements because they have a spawn exit that goes right into the crate maze. Mm-hmm. So you're always kind of like, I don't know, I've seen it maybe once in all the times I've played there where the jug has just been obliterated, like one burst. Usually it's like you have to hit him like twice and then come back and hit him. Mm -hmm. It's set to the, it's set to the, um, Waukesha, I don't have enough experience. Can't really, can't really talk about it there. I yeah. want to though. I don't think mm -hmm. I've ever played a game mm -hmm. of Jug in um in Waukesha. I mean, I've been there all of one time, but mm -hmm. I didn't play it that one time, so I don't even know how it gets played there. <sighs> yeah, I've never even been there. <laughs> yep. And then Michigan, I don't remember playing it when we were out there. Yeah, we mm -hmm. didn't play it in Michigan. Um. Yeah. That is about it i think for juggernaut anybody have any other input they want to give anything that we went up we forgot wakusha's jug is on top of the market best way to go at it is to go up the defending team stairs sure oh hmm. 
Um, Thank you, Frog. Hey, don't die. No ick. No, that was no saliva. Ick. I just, like, failed a constitution save on swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frog Champ, over at Waukesha, you guys swap sides for Jug when you play it? Because I know the one side gets access to that second staircase top building where you can oversee the top of the market. Um, is that a thing or no? While well, you're responding to that, um, bonsai charges, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There's, yeah, there's a lot to be said for the, the just the straight up surprise attack mm-hmm. where you just send a bunch of people in one direction and hope that it overwhelms them. Full send. Yeah, full send. Send it. Oh, yeah, defenders are always on the breach door side. Okay, so that's what the right when you come in, attackers are always on the garage side. Okay. Hmm. All right. Nice. Nice. So the att- Not bad. attackers are always on the side that has the good stick? No. Yes. No. Oh, my God. It doesn't. Okay, so the defenders have the better staircase then. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Sweet. Mm-hmm. All right, I think that's going to do it for Juggernaut. Next week, we will be discussing websites I don't type into my browser 17 times a day, barracks.com. Mm-hmm. Stalling, stalling, stalling. How's Milo doing, Birdie? He's good. He's napping up there right now. What a lazy sh**. Yeah. <laughs> He's chilling and killing in my bed. I wish oh. he would come down here and say hi, but he's lazy. And if I bother him, he'll be so pissed. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Be like, bitch, I was sleeping. Ooh, it's next, time. Week. next week's a game that we haven't really talked about or played. Oh. I played like five times in my entire life, so we're going to have to lean on some oldies to come in and maybe have a discussion. Oldies. How about this? How love about that. we get some guest hosts next week? I love that. Ooh. All right. You hear that, chat? We are going to be looking for guest hosts for next week. Because the game that we're playing, or the game that we're discussing, is Medic. Medic! Oh, Medic! Man. It's one of the most Medic. fun games. One of the Medic. most fun games I've ever played. Never played it. I played it multiple times at Waukesha. Never done it. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, I've never played it. Yeah. Um I played enough where I could talk about it. It's not that bad. Um but we'll talk about we'll talk about medic next week. That'll be a good time. I like it. Fun game. <laughs> Steve infuriated. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind because uh, we'll talk about it next week, but when you die, you don't have to go back to spawn. Like you oh, just get man. To stay on the field. It's great. <laughs> so who? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, that is it for our discussion for the week. Let's get back to the main screen. See if I can actually do one of these transitions. Oh, Lord. I let's, do it, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. A 300, Yay. 300 millisecond fade. I loved it. Ooh. That's that high Look at quality. That that's a high that quality fade. production we got going on here. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so we've been. This is gonna be a quick episode here without these top tens. Yeah, I mean, we don't have a lot to discuss. I feel like Juggernaut went kind of quick too. I feel like we spent a long time with the games. We're like, yeah, go upstairs. Well, I mean, Juggernaut's a pretty simple game. It's effectively team deathmatch with one guy that has a ton of health. It is. I mean, no, I oh, totally agree. Just... I remember what I was gonna say now. Um, so in the actual system for Juggernaut, if you haven't ever operated Ice, um, it's actually. Part of the settings where you can assign more than one juggernaut. Ooh, the T. Uh, so that's you, pretty cool. Yeah, you can assign two, two people to be juggernaut, and then you have to eliminate both of them in order to win the game. Wait, can you can you do it so that both teams have a juggernaut, and whoever does it first? No, unfortunately, no. that would be fun. That would be pretty cool. Last man standing. I would, yeah, I would do that. I mean, it really wouldn't be last man standing, but it would be last jug well, standing. Last jug standing, yeah. Last I'm in. human entity standing. 
I'm like casually just like fucking with my nail on stream. That's fine. I'm playing with like a little pin here. I don't know. Good then time. Big Mac, no, that is not Terminator. Uh, Your is that ter is no. on the revive flight? Isn't that different? Ter no, Terminator is a completely different game. Yeah. I have played Terminator. It was so Terminator much fun. Terminator is like a mix of Black Hawk Down and Sniper. <laughs> it's I hate miserable. Terminator is only fun if you're the person with the special ability. Yeah, if you're John uh, yeah, Connor if... or a Terminator. Yeah, otherwise it sucks. If you're a human, it's miserable. It's like literally, it's just you might as well just stand there. Like it's a waste of time. Or with the new system, if you have a shotgun, it could be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because at guess. least you're doing more damage to the Terminators. That's fair. Terminators. Terminator. You're right. You got me there. All right. Um, let's go to chat. Does chat want to talk about anything for maybe about five, ten minutes here? I'll take the uh, the first the first cool topic. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Oh, dude, I, I had something random I wanted to say. It's not related to laser tag whatsoever. But <laughs> like, so years. basically, you know how we are all practicing social distancing right now? Yeah. Yes. I took one drive to Walmart. That is not what I saw. Oh, Everyone wow. went oh, to yeah, Portillo's, went to the drive-through, got their food, parked in the parking lot. After they got their food, everyone was outside talking to each other, not even six feet apart. Oh, they were God. just eating Portillo's and talking like it's any other day. I was like, "What? Th this is how it spreads." But you know. But yeah. you know, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, What's even fun, you know, funnier but... is that Luther in general is right across the street from literally a hospital. From my Portillo's, COVID. yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's right, so. Sam. You uh, you do that then, yeah. I guess. Uh, what was it yesterday when it was nice out? I left work and I was driving home down uh, one of the side streets. I think it's like Sunnyside or something or Wilson. I don't know. And mm -hmm. uh, just every single block, it was four kids, three kids, a low take heart, six kids, just straight home. People everywhere. I don't understand what people don't understand about this is like not great I've to be doing that. I've only left the house at max three times ever since we started this quarantine. I like, literally, I had to leave the house yesterday um, to go with my roommate to go check on our friend's apartment because she sent her, sent us her key, but she's been gone for weeks now. So like, fine. We were in the car, Kim got out to go into the apartment. She came back, and then literally we stopped to get, like, food at a drive through and went straight home. And I think that was the first time we had actually, like, been out of the house in two weeks. Oh, so you're, oh, you were basically house-sitting for someone, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. we are just, like, checking on things because she'd been gone for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been pretty good about following the rules. During the week, I literally just go to work and come home, and my work is just me. Like, all of the other people that I work with, we... I, I've built, <laughs> I've built this like, like purgatory room, in front of my office, which is really fun. Like Bird, you've been to my office. You know, like that front entryway, of the annex before you actually come into the office. Yeah. So I have signs set up. It's like an airlock now, where the front oh, yeah. door says like, unless you work here, don't come in. Uh huh. Or if you need to come oh. in, wait in the first room, and I'll talk to you through the glass. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Like, I put the paperwork out in the annex, so the guys come in in the morning, they grab the paperwork, they, off, they do the... But the other day I had, uh, it was the... Wasn't the ma was it the mailman? It must have been the mailman. They had a substitute mailman or something. And he, like, opens the front door, like, sees me. I, like, I point at the little mailbox at the front. And he's like, oh, yeah. Like, opens up the second door, and I'm just like... <laughs> do you read <laughs> like he looked at me he's like you want your mail i'm like yeah you could put it on the bin that i put it on the room that'd be great <laughs> that'd be so awesome that'd be, you know, not that i don't like you i'm just not trying to exactly. catch them but... i mean yeah. but i do the same thing even with the fedex driver and the ups driver who i know who are always the same like the fedex mm -hmm. guy is cool he just opens the door he like holds the box up i'm like and he just like drops it down and leaves. I'm like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> sir. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's, uh, make it's sure. Weird. Huh? Yeah, we do gotta make sure everyone's still doing, doing the right shit. Otherwise, everyone's gonna get the. The ick. Get, get the ick. I mean, like, oh, I feel like at this rate. The chat right now. Oh God. Oh. So much uh, ick. Oh. Multiple icks. Going on. Going on. I, I feel like at banned. this point, like people are like, I just don't know if people are paying attention or they just don't care. Because it's like they've been told now, like numerous times, like what happens if we don't just like do our best to social distance which like is we're just going to have to social distance for long like places will be closed for longer life will be abnormal for longer so like i just don't understand like at this rate they're just gonna keep telling us like every single time like the new end of a month comes that it's another month long and like yeah. I just don't know when people are going to get tired of it. It's like, I yeah, get that you're bored and you're at home and you're not living your regular life, but like... This is the world we live in right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, too bad. Neither am I, bro. Thanks, Obama. Okay. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> yeah, I wish you were yeah. not essential to Nick, but you're essential in my heart, buddy. Aw, uh, you're essential to me. <laughs> Yeah. I wish. I wait. I um, wish I was not essential. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of enjoying the whole stay home and wake up at five p.m. Every day. It's like day you're back in time. college again. Coronials. Yeah. Coronials. Oh, geez. oh, Ben, yo. <laughs> Coronials. Um, I yeah. wish anybody in this chat watched All American <laughs> because I have a great meme. <laughs> Lay it on us. You're not gonna understand it though. It's well, fine. I am. Other people in the chat that might. I know okay. I'm not gonna understand it. You might have well, to explain it. Well, if you watch All American, there is a character in All American. His name is Tyrone. He is a in a gang, and he basically like starts this whole trend of things that starts happening, like attacking these people who are trying to bring him down, who are like the main characters of the show. And me and Cam were watching like one of like the turning event episodes, kind of like of his character development and like what he does to these people in order to like basically like stop them from bringing him down and putting him in jail killing him etc and like everybody was like being affected by it like the main character of the show like got shot by his goon somebody else got arrested because of him it was like a whole thing and like i was sitting on the couch and there was a scene of like one of the characters like to do something to like protect other people from him and i was like oh no she gonna get it and she was like what are you talking about and i was like tyrona virus because his name is tyrone <laughs> oh my gosh this this uh, that. i'm funny <laughs> I'm, I'm so funny <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right uh psa from the stream to everybody out there we love you all don't get sick stay home yeah Cuddle up with a good book, bro. Good if you book. really want Portillo's, DoorDash exists. Or just go pick it up and take it home. <laughs> yeah, period. Oh, yeah. Don't chill in the parking lot. Don't chill in the parking lot. Me and Cam are lucky enough to have a little like rooftop deck, so we got Culver's yesterday and we ate it on the roof and it was great. We should have wine up there. Ooh, should we have a charcuterie night this week? I'm down. I'm in. <laughs> I'm down. Sounds lovely. Hopefully the weather's nice. <laughs> I hope so. All right. I think that with our Corona talk out of the way, I think you guys, you guys ready to play some games? Oh, I'm ready to play, play some games. games. Want to play some games? Oh, I'm play some games. Ready? You want to play some games? You're, just... You're so creepy. Play. You want to play some games? <laughs> Oh no. Hey chat. Oh, you want... no. Hey chat, you wanna play some games? Hey, hey, you got games on your phone? <laughs> you got games on wait, hold on, let me just You got games on your phone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, get your go ahead if you're in the Discord, go ahead and join the broad streaming channel. I'm not gonna join for a minute or two here, but uh we're gonna sign off here. So uh I will go first. I never go first. Sir. Nine weeks and I'm going first. <laughs> Thank you guys all very much for coming out tonight. It was a much shorter episode of the show, but it's because we're gonna be interacting with you guys more. 
So that being said, stay safe. Uh, we love you all. The better that we can stay in now, the faster we can get back to real life and start shooting each other in the face. Um, next week, we are going to look for some co-hosts to talk about Medic. <laughs> so maybe we'll take three extra people. We'll do the six-person chat going on. Um, make sure if you do want to come that you can be available at 9 o'clock Central. That's when we do our sound check, and that's when I have to set up all the cameras. It's not because I want to be here that early. It's because if there's something wrong, I need to fix it <laughs> before we go live. <laughs> Um. So, uh, that being said, my upcoming week, I got nothing going on really. I'm working today, tomorrow, Friday. I'm gonna quarantine with Birdie over the weekend and get back to real life. So, yep, that's about it. <laughs> oh, also, tune in during the week when I'm streaming. I'm trying to get to 75 viewers. Um, it's absolutely social distancing. It is, it is Nick. Anyways, um, trying to get to seventy-five viewers. Bring anybody you know. Spam, advertise. If you get people to come in and raid, I'd love it. If you have your own channels, that's great. I'll plug you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Can we examine that <laughs> sentence for a second? <laughs> I take that back. I'm not going to plug you, but I'll plug your channel. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's about <laughs> it. That's all I got. I'm going to stop talking now. So, Christian, you're up next, bud. All right. So, what do I have going on this week? Literally, tomorrow, my new YouTube video is coming out. It's most likely going to be Dying Light again. I love that game. Parkour and Zombies is a really good mix. Uh, the whole game plus DLCs is only out for 20 bucks, so not that bad at all. If you want to get into a new game, uh, you get this one of these one of the DLCs. You you get <laughs> you get you get a ninja outfit, and you you learn how to make shurikens right off the bat. Oh, like, was that my your last... comment about shurikens are better than whatever? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday, I I knocked this dude in the head with a shuriken when this dude had an AK. It was fun. <laughs> it was amazing. I loved it. I'm gonna pass on the gonna pass on the birdie because that's all I got. Um, I have a huge stack of work to do tomorrow for school. <laughs> so tomorrow is going to be grinding through all my homework. Uh. Friday through Sunday, I'm probably just going to be chilling, killing, uh, quarantining with Bay, and just, uh, you know, keeping it chill. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. I don't really have that much coming up right now. Just uh, focusing on school and doing things to keep me distracted and happy during the quarantine. So yeah, that's about it. How, how was your soup? Oh, I made a soup, soup today. I did that, and that shit. I'll tell y'all a secret. It's really fucking good. That soup is... Uh, it's Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. It's so good. Roasted a whole chicken for it. Tore it up. Put it in there. A little mushroom. little carrots. Some Seasonings, red pepper, fresh tomato, onion, garlic. Ooh, so good. So good. Probably the best thing I've made so far in quarantine. Nice. Thank you for asking about my soup. I really appreciate it. I'm very proud of it. Anytime. <laughs> All right. That is... That's it. We're done this week. Week nine in the books. Uh, coming in just around 45 minutes. I'm going to try and get this podcast up tonight. Uh, thank you guys as always. Uh, this is week nine, April 8th, week three of Corin K Coronacation. 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 Oh. Quarantine. We got three weeks to go, hopefully. Um, yeah, cross the fingers, stay home. We can get back to pew pewing in maybe three weeks, hopefully. Oh my god, that'd be so nice. Yeah. Um <laughs> as always. Gears not working. Or in this case, if your if your if your body's not working. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> we got we got problems. It's gonna need a gear See swap. A Head over to ice and get a get a gear swap. Just stay away from people. People, stay home. We love you all, and we will see you next week. Bye, bye, guys. Bye.